Hey everybody, Newtaf here, and today I've got some more PvP videos with post commentary. Once again, I've got my main build, which is strength weapons uh, with the hidden weapon spell, and you'll you'll see um, my trusty standby, the Demon Grave Machete. Uh, but I've also mixed in a couple other weapon combinations. So hope you enjoy the fights. So I started off invading in Duke's archives, and uh, we found this uh, marvelous specimen. Check out how this goes. Oh, Archer showed me where he is over there. He's got a, is a claymore or something. He's swinging and swinging. So at this point, I'm probably looking for a parry. He seems so swing happy. Missed that second swing. There you go. Got him there. I knew he was going to keep swinging. I do my wake up Lloyd's like usual, but oh, he's not interested in, in Estes. Oh no. No, sir. He's got something much more powerful in mind. Check this out. Oh boy. Oh boy. Luckily that one missed me, I don't know why. And I'm pretty sure the archer finished him off, not me. And that's what you get for that. Come on, guy. Come on. Alright, this time I'm hosting. I've got a spear user, so I'm already cringing because I'm bad against spears. Um, spoiler alert, I'm bad against the spear too. Hey, he was nice enough, he let me, uh, he led me over here to this other room to fight in though. That, that's kind of cool. Good idea. So I don't get shot by that stupid archer. So I've got a Manserpent Greatsword this time. I've been trying that out. Really great strength weapon. Got a good move set. So he timed those pretty well. And that, that, that stupidly long range of the spear he was able to hit me pretty much anywhere. I think I went for a roll BS there, but I'm not good at them, and I'm not ninja flipping, so it makes them even harder. Plus that weapon's pretty fast. Alright, here's round two with this guy. Come on, come around the corner so I can bow to you properly. Eh? Where you at? Oh, there he is. So whenever I see somebody turn themselves into a chameleon, I, I assume they're casting pursuers or charging up their they're dark magic and they're gonna shoot me in the face, so that's why I get the crest shield. You know, this guy, I don't know, I guess he put on the wrong spell or something. I got large club, whack him a few times, but he runs away. I don't know, did I rush the fight? Did I start trolling? Here's the pursuers, where I thought I was around the corner, but, you know, on my screen it looked like they hit the wall, but, I guess, surprise, no. No, they didn't. They just hit me. That's all. We got a blue phantom this time. Yeah, waving at me? I don't know. Does he know me? I don't think I know this guy. I only wave at people I know, by the way. Great shields. Great shields are a problem for me because people tend to turtle behind them pretty bad. Oh, this guy's spamming a good amount, so he's got some openings. I also have the bad habit when they're swinging like that to manage to dead angle myself, as you saw earlier. Here, going for the unlocked hit, which is really good a lot of the time. As you can see there, actually. That was a heck of a weird dead angle. I switch back to my uh, my trusty demon great machete. Here we got this guy. I don't know if he wants to start the fight or if he's helping break the tables. I can't really tell. Watch, watch all, all these emit forces he casts. Meanwhile, I'm over here kicking chairs. Right, he's got his replenishment on. Yeah, 
He doesn't. He's not interested in kicking chairs. He wants to fight. Another great shield, Lucerne this time. Hey, check out that slow move. This seems like like I don't know the worst of the halberd type weapons. All right, that was a that trade worked well in my favor. He probably hit me for about 200. I think I'm trying to dead angle him here, I'm trying to get him to to do something. Maybe knock back his stability if he commits too much. It's not working. Oh, he's not interested in that. Goes for the backstab. Fair enough. Usually they follow that up with an attack, but too bad. The the kick. I think he's trying for another another slidey backstab. I'm not really sure. I don't think he's gonna get it. He's got a shield up too much. Uh, I think I saw a poise stabbed in there. Uh, normally I don't really like poise stabbing, but it always gives me no openings. Fifty thousand for a host. Yo, he's pretty high level. All right, we got some gankers here. Now I want to want to show you this this thing. Well, they're not gankers. Maybe they're not gankers. They, they might just be co-oping. Check this out. Check this. Here we go. Bam! It's the money shot right there. Gotten a little better with the Lloyds lately. I'm usually really bad at fighting gankers, but these guys are also equally pretty bad. I think I'm backing up for a heal or something. Trying to keep away from him. Oh, my Lloyd's ran out. That's too bad. Didn't take the backstab there for some reason. I don't know why. I think it wasn't paying attention. There you go. Got it that time. He loves that running attack, but it's getting punished. Now, what I sh probably should have done is turn around and parry that dude, but didn't think about it. There we go. Crack that. He's gonna get me the running attack. Too bad. Spamming his attack, so I managed to get around him, finish him off. It's just me and the host. Now, earlier I threw a pretty great Lloyd's, but <laughs> check this out. Check out how bad this is. I, I think I must be. Oh, that was a close one. I'm point blank him. I'm surprised he hasn't tried to heal by now. Well, I guess he's not really damaged. I've, I've been focusing on the Phantom. So, he has no reason to. He also didn't make much of an effort to try and heal his phantom. Alright, he drops his shield for a second, managed to get around it with the AoE. And now, this is uh, my counter backstab parry. I'm trying to pull one there. Here we go. He thought he was going to get backstab, maybe. And he fell into a parry. Doesn't work on everybody, but works against people who aren't good at fishing, who aren't terribly good at backstabbing. So, it's not a bad tool to have have around. Alright, we switched locations to the Berg. I think this is probably several days later, in fact. This guy's waving at me over there. What does he want? What do you want, guy? This is where we fight, right? Eh, oh well. Okay, I guess we'll fight over here. Now, I'm fully expecting him to, to jump me while I'm fighting these dudes, because that's what everybody does, right? Like, what other reason do you have to bring somebody over to the enemies? No, I guess he just wants a turn arena to fight in. Whatever. Fair enough. He's got Moonlight Greatsword. He's got magic setup. He likes those running attacks, too. I guess he was a little out of range for that. He spams, but only, only sometimes. So I'm not really confident on a second swing parry there, so I'm not gonna probably go for it. Managed to get through that. Ah, missed it. I was a little, little late on that one. I keep 
almost getting him, but not quite. He's pretty, pretty squirreling. He's got that flippering. Here we go, going for unlocked uh, running attack. Trying to dead angle him. Oh, that one, that one hurts. That one hurts me. That I felt, I felt like I should deserve that. Maybe I was a little, a little too far away. Timing felt pretty good. Keep trying that. Having trouble catching him. Here you go. Surprise club. This is my uh, second slot setup. You didn't see that coming. I've been trying to save that for special situations. I think this might even be a few days later too. So we got this guy. This guy has one technique and one technique only. And you're going to see it in a second. And unfortunately... So okay, I kind of see what he's doing there. And I see what he's doing there. Okay, I can see he's fishing. I can see he's fishing hard. So I need to keep him off my back. So there you go. Use, use that technique that Havoc showed me. Kick, kick for uh, stopping the fish. Got him the first time, missed it the second time. There it is. It's all over. One technique only. So I gotta keep him off me. Oh, same guy again. Alright, let's try and be a little bit more defensive this time, is what I'm thinking. Here he comes. The shrug, because... <laughs> There's only one thing this guy can do. So you're going to see a, a little bit more defensive fight here. Less kicking and more avoidance. Yo, cat, go away. Not right now. Managed to catch him in a pyro, okay. So he, he thinks he can pyro. But not real much. Uh, not, not very well. Look, he's going back to the fish. Here we go, here we go. Here's the sprint. Misses it. Ah, it was a too, too bad that I missed that. I'm not going to attack from that close. I'm going to back up. He's going again. Nope. Almost got him running into it. There he goes again. There's another attempt. Missed it there. Caught him on the second. Missed him on the third. He rolls through. Even with that medium roll, he's got enough high frames. Another fish attempt. Nope. Not going to work. Backs off. See, this guy's a pretty good fisher. He, he, he has the right amount of restraint. And there you go. Catch him on the... He got the timing right. And there's, there's me showing him how, how one-sided his character is. All right, try three. Two out of three, right? Let's see how. See if we can keep him off me again. Oh, this time he's not messing around. Got a crystal magic weapon on his uh, man serpent. Now he's trying some uh, running attacks. I think they might be. They're probably feints to try and get me to commit to an attack where he can then subsequently punish. So maybe he's a little bit smarter than I give him credit for. Look at what, what am I doing? What am I doing? I saw the running attacks. I decided to try parrying one. Maybe he was smarter than I thought. Did he really bait me into that? Who can really say? And there's him uh, returning my gestures in kind. Uh oh, what you doing, guy? What are you doing? I just spawned in. But it's it's cool. This guy's all right. He he's like, oh, I messed up. I think he may, maybe he accidentally hit. Like he's not attacking me. He wants me to t get get a free hit on him. All right, there we go. And we start the fight. That's all right. You're okay in my book, guy. So I'm seeing a lot of these. Uh, he, he does the claymore one hands a few times. He's trying to punish quite a bit, and he's also throwing a lot of um, R twos, one handed R twos. Um, somewhere through here, I'm thinking I might be able to uh, get him to fall into a parry. Did I just parry a kick? Oh, Dark Souls lag. Couldn't get that second hit. Butcher's knife a little too slow. Let's see if we can get around him with some club. Nope. It looks like he's, uh... There we go. I run up for that one. He seems to he seems to try and do that R2 whenever I get a little bit close, and it's been a little bit, so I figured I could go for it. Looks like it paid off.
stars and rains. I think he's got the the dark sword, is it? That was a bad kick. Sometimes I go for a kick opener in case people are parrying. Doesn't have a lot of poise though. The butcher's knife him. Now this guy knows what he's doing. He saw that first hit. He knew exactly what to do. He ran up and got the parry. Much respect. Yeah, that's me telling him. Nice job. Now he replies. <laughs> It's not that sneaky. Yeah, nice guy. Uh, let's see, who do we have here? It's like a pretty regular katana user. Looks like he's circling a little bit, so I should I need to be a little careful. See, I'm trying to keep him off, kicking to keep him off my backstab, off the backstab. Get one hit, miss the second. He tries to circle, circle for a backstab, didn't work. It's another kick, keep off my back, get off me. I think he's looking for an opportunity. He's tired of me tired of me kicking. I don't know why my shield was down for that for that attack. That was silly. Nope. Still, still manages to kick. So usually people who are going for a backstab manage to uh... Oh, that's a shame. That one missed. Anyway, usually people who are going for a backstab have to keep their shield down a little bit longer, but he uh, had his shield up all until the very end. That's me trying to stop a parry. It didn't work. Or predicting a parry and going for a backstab on it. Didn't work. I, I honestly don't know how I saw that. But it turned the tide for me. Lucky me. Not lucky necessarily. I think I must have seen something in his pattern. Okay, it's the back in the burg now. What do we have here? Like some sort of... Is that a broadsword or a longsword or something? I fought a few people late, lately with the like broadsword and longsword. They're, they're surprisingly good. So he doesn't have a lot of poise. So I was able to knock him out of that. That's uh, one of the few instances where I actually land the running attack. I ran past him and it kind of hit behind me a little bit or caught him as I went by. It's pretty sweet. It doesn't happen very often. Partial that one. It's way too far away. Almost, almost close enough to catch him on the, on that R1 hit. I was hoping he'd go to the left, and then I'd, and then he'd fall into my, uh, into my running R1, a uh, running, a uh, running, or sorry, R2 move. Let me trade at the end there. Earlier you saw a hit where I, I managed to clip him as he went by. The butcher's knife has great, like weird clipping ability. I like it quite a lot. This is, this is another weapon I've added to my to my setups lately. This guy does a lot of unlocked hitting, unlocked running around. I think. Ow! <laughs> so. Seeing that, I'm, I'm thinking he's just gonna he's gonna wait me out and try and punish every time because my weapon's a little slower than his. Just hoping to kick him there didn't work at all. Now that that's an amazing lucky shot. <laughs> Soul spear goes directly over my head as I'm in the middle of my animation. So that's that's crazy Dark Souls for you. Yeah, he's waiting to choose the correct time to let these go. He's being very careful about it. Finding up a soul spear. Nice try, but no. I, sh I should probably be able to set up a parry on this guy. He, he seems to attack every time he gets close. Now he's getting a little bit more aggressive here, maybe because my health is low. 
hoping to dead angle there, but I don't think I was far enough away. Now this, this I like. I got guard broken, and that lured him into another hit. I've done this a few times before. I think it's, I think it's a viable technique um, if you gauge your opponent's disposition properly. Like deliberately get low on stamina, let them guard break you, and then get the parry on the follow-up hit. He's not interested in grassing. He doesn't care about grassing. I think this must have been a mistake. I think he must not have switched his spell properly. He probably meant to cast a soul mass or something. But, you know, I gotta take it. I, maybe he was trying to buff. Maybe he was... Hmm? Who knows? So here I see a Black Knight Halberd. Um, I do badly against this weapon a lot of the time because it's fast and has great range. This guy... But he, instead he switches to a Shotel for some reason. Is it because he sees me behind a shield? And now he's automatically conditioned? Check out that. He catching him in a fat roll. Dead angle. Feels good. Okay, fair enough. Punishes my parry or just slidey backstabs me. I don't really know. I guess he was out of stamina or something. I'm trying to keep him away because I think he's going to go for another backstab. And sure enough, another slidey backstab. Fair enough. Probably shouldn't have fought so close. Yeah, that, that Black Knight Halberd is, is nice because you can you can turtle up and just punish pretty much anything I can throw at you. Full dragon. Fully dragon. This guy was in the Dreadicone stream. Actually, a lot of these guys were. He was streaming and I was pulling his uh, red signs. Now, what the heck is that? Is that a headbutt? I don't even know what that is. Apparently dragons have a headbutt. Is that the rolling R1 on a dragon on Dragon Fist? Somebody was saying something like it can't be parried. Of course I didn't know that at the time. Yeah, look at that. It does nothing. <laughs> I also missed the timing on that. He's keeping away from me pretty good. Now here's the here's the clutch move right there. Oh man. Well done. He does the dead angle dragon roar into backstab, and he's got a hornet ring on, so that finishes me pretty good. That thing does a good amount of damage even without hornet ring. Here we go, we got we got catastrophic, regular Twitch Bro. We always have really, really good fights. And this one's no exception. He's got a uh, was that on hand Zwei, offhand whip. Whip sucks because you can uh you can't parry that thing. And then switches to Reinforce Club. I managed to miss that one. He's going sideways hits there. Both of us miss, thank god. <laughs> so I don't want to get hit by that. Couldn't get the follow-up. Too bad. He's looking for parries. Smart smartly. Oh, just barely missed. What a shame. I managed to get out of that reinforced club stun lock. Pull out the hand axe, surprise, in my offhand. Learned that from a Havoc too, for quick two hits. He should have parried there, he would have had it. You totally would have gotten a parry on that. I'm surprised you didn't see it, in fact. I was lucky enough to just guard break on that instead of taking some major damage. Hand axe again. He's like, no, get away. Not able to catch him there. Yeah, I can never be sure when he's going to take one or two hits. Ah, and there we go. Instead of doing a, a rolling poke, I, I s delay it just slightly and catch him as he rolls by. Unluckily, he's not in his iframes. That was a great fight. Always a good fight with Catastrophic. It's a fun build he's got, too. And here we go. We got our final fight of the night. Let's see who we got. Oh, I managed to finally get Dreadicone. Another guy I love fighting. He's such a fun guy. I'm sure you guys all like him too. We got, he's got his dual claws and uh, some magic, I think, and pyromancy. 
<laughs> when somebody with claws eats the grass, it looks hilarious. So he's, he's pretty good at unlocking those fireballs, and I get away from at least one that, that I don't feel like I deserve to. But I was able to punish that one and get away, so that was pretty sweet. He's doing some uh, pivot cancels. I was hoping to get the uh, R1 or R2 run up and um, like charge up and hit him, but it didn't work. It managed to dodge a fireball that had no right dodging. It looked like it was spot on. That's the Dark Souls lag for you. So at this point, he doesn't actually know what I was what I was using, so he was probably thinking that I was using the large club all along. But uh, no, that was my offhand slot. Nevertheless, I wasn't able to catch him with the surprise uh, uh, R2, one-handed R2. That was a mistake. I'm pretty sure I meant to jump attack there. And I was just lucky enough to get away. That was that was the correct punish for it, for what I did. It was a, a good punish attempt. Nope, he went the wrong direction. I was trying to grab him as he went there. Still waiting again for him to run into my attack, but nope. I just take that on the shield because I'm using crush shield, and I can do that. That's that's what I've been trying to do. The R2 charge up. I just trade here. I think he gets the better end of that deal. He's trying to finish me. I don't know whether I should have gotten past that. That was that. Cli there's that clipping on the on the butcher's knife. Yeah, he's very very good at getting away from the the great the, the large club R2s. He didn't fall for it even once. Uh, and he's he's actually really good at um, doing those club those uh, claw punishes. Really good. Those quick quick little rolls. Oh, and there we go. He goes for the parry. It was the right thing to do. I think I knew that he was going to go for the parry, so I staggered it just slightly. That was a great fight. Thank you, Ty. Thank you, everybody else who fought me. Uh, thanks for watching. And I guess um, until next time. Thanks.